2008 we moved from New Zealand to Australia. We'd had to pull David out of high school in New Zealand because of his health. So he had a bit of recuperation time. Then he needed to do something. He was at a bit of a loss as to what to do. So we told him the same thing that we tell all our children, and that is find your passion and live your dream. So David immediately knew what he wanted to do. He's always been interested in film and TV, behind the scenes, the music, the writing, and um, it was then a matter of finding a way that he could do this. You know, we, we've always said to him, and he's always lived that cerebral palsy shouldn't stop him from doing what he wants to do. If you can hold that focus, then you can find a way. David knows how to use computer. He's really good at it, but he gets lazy, and so we sometimes help him with doing all this stuff because <coughs> it's just a whole lot easier. David's on a very uh, high-tech gadget here. This is a, uh, a, a monopod on a tracking system. He's, yes, he's from New Zealand, but that's okay. I first came across David when his mum called up here asking uh, if there were any multimedia courses we were doing. I'd heard stories that he'd, he'd uh, posted a few things online already and had edited a few things before. So I was very keen to find out how the hell he did this. We were just about to start a disability multimedia course for as part of the variability project which we were doing through uh, Real Artworks and Red Ink up at City Hall and so I thought it seemed like a perfect time to try to get uh, Linda and David um, involved in doing that. So I gave her um, a number of uh, Zeb Schultz who was um, one of the main people running uh, the variability project and from there David submitted an expression of interest and came and did the multimedia course we were running here. I don't know, it's just about consideration and respect and stuff. Yeah, what's did you I was really impressed with um, Dave's performance in the multi camera exercise. Um, yeah, he, he didn't miss a beat and nailed all his lines and was professional the whole day. And... I don't know how David has the patience to deal with it sometimes because it's just such a slow way of working. Given that he has uh, missed a number of days this term, yet he's still right on top of all the workload. Um, you can tell he's a really committed student.